What is up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're preparing for a chicken I'm literally like Julia's mom is the only one that knows the results and she texted us saying it was conclusive Everything was good. Wow. She knows the gender. That's and we rude. don't. Yeah. I, it's so nerve-wracking. I don't <sighs> know why. We have some upsetting news that we need to talk to you about because the gender reveal is going to be different because some unplanned circumstances have happened. Mm -hmm. Should we sit down? <laughs> okay, you have to sit down for this. It's very dramatic. Just kidding. We might have coronavirus. <laughs> That's and not a joke. We it's really not a joke. So what happened was, you guys know my sister Aspen. If you guys are like an OG subscriber and you've watched a lot of our videos, you know my sister Aspen. A lot of you guys really like her. She tested positive for coronavirus the other day after the family had been at my house. She was not there, but my mom and her husband and my brother were there, which they have all been around her. So mm -hmm. chances of them also testing positive are high. And then we were hugging them. They were in our house. They were yes. helping us move stuff. So, so we haven't had any symptoms. Um, we're starting to make symptoms up in our head, I feel like. Yeah, well, a little bit, yeah. Just because you get scared of it, it's like... And it's hard because the symptoms are also vague. Like, yeah. I get out of breath walking up the stairs, then, and then I'm then like, you're is like, this coronavirus or am I fat? <laughs> what has to happen is my mom, a couple days after my sister tested positive, all of them had to go get tested, but at the test center in Utah, it takes three days for you to get your results. So we have no idea what her results are. So if she tested positive, chances are we're gonna test positive. So we cannot be around family for a gender reveal. We're not all supposed to get tested until at least seven okay. days have passed yeah. since we have been in contact with them, which will be on Sunday. We're gonna get tested on Sunday and then we won't know the results until Wednesday. So which I'm crossing my fingers because it's a lot slimmer than being in contact with someone that like directly had it, mm -hmm. but obviously yeah we don't know mm -hmm. and so we've been really really careful about quarantining ourselves because we don't want to like pass it on if by right. any well the do have hotline said that we have to stay in our house and not mm -hmm. like expose ourselves to anyone for a week mm -hmm. just in case until we can get tested yeah. so even though we can't get tested yet we're still like they were very strict like we can't leave the house so we're quarantining so we are doing our gender reveal on a zoom call because we had already sent the results off right. before we found out about this and then we were like we can't just wait to yeah. find out like and have somebody know and we've been telling you guys we're gonna do it on this day we're gonna do it on this day and then <sighs> it's just like so it's just like really bad timing for everything but we didn't want to like put it off anymore so we we're like you know what we'll just like get creative about it we're gonna do a right. zoom call and and it's slightly fun. Right. So we wanted to involve you guys, which is super fun. So if you guys don't follow us on Instagram, this is a really good time to follow us on Instagram because we are going to be posting on our Instagram stories for you guys to send us a clip of what your guess is so we can add it into our video of what you think baby enzyme might be, then we will put you in our video. So make sure to follow us there if you haven't followed us. But Otherwise you're gonna miss out on cool stuff like this, so come on. Yeah. Anyway, we might have coronavirus. My whole family might have coronavirus. So now I don't know when we're gonna get to see the sunlight. So let's go set up for our gender reveal. So I just got this kit it's for like a gender reveal party it doesn't have the thing on it i'll post a picture of what it looked like on amazon but we need to set this up it has tons of balloons and garland and a bunch of stuff probably gonna set this up in the nursery and do it in there don't you think are there instructions because this looks confusing i don't know let's take it up to the nursery okay. this is the nursery obviously let me open these blinds number one number two yeah that's what i was gonna show so this is what julia's mom dropped off so it obviously can't say boy or girl so she numbered them one and two and then she'll tell us which one to open i think it's gonna be number two just because there has been so many twos associated with this pregnancy you don't know if number two is boy or girl yes but you think that it's just be because up. number two so they each have a popper inside of them that's also not labeled and i think it's confetti right is it confetti yeah it's confetti so there's two so we can both do it and then we'll both be surprised <laughs> but now we're gonna set everything up you setting up time lapse Drunk. i've never seen you clearer than now we're flying high floating somewhere up in the clouds going out of ourselves can you feel it almost julia's pumping it up we got so many balloons in here, you guys. It's crazy that we're doing our reveal in here and the baby's gonna be in this room. What do you think you're having, a brother or a sister? Frank's in trouble, he's not even supposed to be in here. Yeah, you were barking at the mailman. That's bad boy. It surprisingly takes a lot of work blowing up all of these balloons. I ordered food, I ordered wingers, and I'm just waiting for it to get here. I'm so freaking hungry. We have been door dashing like what, three times a day? Yeah, because we didn't have any groceries to begin with. We were planning on doing a big grocery trip, but then now nah, we can't. And so well, you're we... gonna have to deliver groceries, but they couldn't deliver until tomorrow. Right, so we have to wait until tomorrow to get them. So today we're door dashing. Like I don't know if it's real, cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't 
stop turning So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip Food has arrived. Are you ready Almost to eat? There. Yeah. I got some freaking soup, some wings. Julia won't come over and eat her salad. Here's the deal. I was just telling Abby this. I'll tell you guys too. Abby eats often. She doesn't eat a lot, but she eats often, which is what you're supposed to do when you're pregnant. And I have taken that as an excuse to eat a lot often. <laughs> and like this morning when I, I ate like a full like, like savory waffle with like chicken and avocado and honey mustard. And then I felt so sick because I ate too much. And now I'm like, why? I, just, I eat so much because you're pregnant. Well, you got a salad. That's not I that bad. I got a salad because I felt bad about eating that whole waffle. Oh, it's morning. fine. Are you excited to find out what our baby is? Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I know it's going to be blue. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. I just remember I had a dream last night. It was a boy. Really? I just remember that. You've been saying why. girl this whole time. Oh, wow, that's weird. It's just like for some reason, like it wasn't a thing. And then when you said that, I imagined the blue, and I remembered that was my dream last night. That's weird. Well, we're about to find out. So all of the balloons are filled up. That is a lot of balloons, guys. That was actually like a surprising amount of work. I didn't think it would take that long, but that is a ton of balloons. I kind of want to stick Frank right in the middle of it because I think he would freak out. Uh -huh. But um, then we have this that says, oh baby. So you have to string that onto a, like a little string and then we'll put it up there. Abby already put this up. So now the next step is we take all the balloons and then we put them onto this thing. As you can see, there's already one on it. And then we just kind of string them along and then we'll hang that up. So it kind of drapes in like an L shape up there. You'll see, it's going to be very cute. Right, Abby? Yes. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. Sorry, Frank. No, put him in there. I want to take a picture. Frankie! Oh, he doesn't like it. Well, All right. he didn't like it. Girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. We got everything all set up. Um, all the balloons, they look great. Abby went to go take a bath and I went to go get the Zoom meeting um, set up so that everybody can get the links and have everything all set up. Anyway, and then I came back. Look at this, it fell over. And they're so heavy. The balloons are so heavy and the little hooks that are meant to hold it do not hold it. Um, so I don't know what to do about that. And I even put two hooks there for extra reinforcement and then we taped the hooks to the wall. I don't know what to do. You know, honestly, I think I'm just gonna leave it and tomorrow morning I'll come in here and I'll re-put it up and then I'll reinforce it because I don't want to sit there overnight. It's not gonna, it's gonna fall down at some point again and I don't know how to deal with that. So you can sit right there. Abby tried to eat the leftovers from the food we were just eating and she doesn't like it anymore, apparently. I like leftovers. You have something against leftovers. That's pretty good. Good. As you can see, I changed my mind about <laughs> waiting to set this up until tomorrow because I was like, I, I don't want to like do anything else tomorrow that I don't have to. And it just took me a second to re-put it back up. But I think it looks really good. We had a bunch of extra balloons, as you can see. And it looks like most of them are blue. There's like not very many spare pink balloons. So it's like, did we use a lot of pink? I didn't think that we did. I guess there's a lot of pink over in this corner here. <laughs> there, This Oh Baby is also supposed to go. It's supposed to go like right there, like based on how it looked on Amazon. But we didn't really love it. And also this B, it broke. And so like as we were filling it up, we tried to just tape it shut but um yeah it doesn't look very good i think we're gonna x nay the oh baby um so really this is it we have it all set up i brought this thing in here that we can put the laptop right here for the zoom meeting so it's tall enough to see us because we'll probably just be standing there so this will be like the perspective and then i have the tripod ready so that we can record it so i think we're good to go i think it's all set up i wish that i wish that we could get rid of this router sitting here in the corner but i think you won't see it because it'll be like up more looking at everyone but who knows dean are you excited Excited. You excited, Dean? So Abby and I were just, um, so at the beginning of the video, I know we mentioned that we were going to post on our Instagram stories asking you guys to send us like clips of you saying what you think the gender of the baby is. And so we did it. We made that post just now. And we've already, like Abby's email is flooded <laughs> with videos from you guys. And we started going through a couple of them as we were setting up um, just to hear what you guys had to say. And it was like, Oh, it almost made me cry because I just feel so lucky and I feel like our baby is going to be so lucky to have all of you guys there. I mean, you guys are like family to us. And so to hear all of you so excited for this baby coming into the world, this is like the luckiest baby in the world to have all of your support. And I honestly think that this is like the most positive YouTube community I've ever seen. And maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I always feel like when I read through everyone's comments, everyone is so kind. All of you are just so amazing, not only to us, but to each other. Yeah. 
I see you guys helping each other, like giving advice about coming out. And I'm, we're just so grateful to have all of you to share this journey with. And I'm so excited for you all to see the gender of the baby. I wish that you could all be here with us, but it'll be fun no matter what. Abby is not feeling well because she ate leftovers. <laughs> uh, pregnancy does weird things to you, I guess. So she's in the tub, so I'm gonna close out the video by myself, but you'll see her in the next video, so get excited! Today's post notification shout out goes to Kiera DCG. We love you! Did you hear her yell? Thank you so much for having your post notifications turned on. If the rest of you would also like a post notification shout out, all you gotta do is turn on your post notifications and then leave a comment letting us know you did it, and then you might be in our next video! Please ignore my horrible zit on my face. You never know. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.